mammography does save lives. It's the single best tool that we have for preventing a premature death of bre from breast cancer in a woman. Dr. Kevin Effinger from Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center, along with a panel of other experts, examined decades of research to update the American Cancer Society's recommendations for breast cancer screening. What we realize is that there's areas that the evidence is very clear, and there's other areas that there may be a trade-off. We recommend starting regular screening at age 45. The evidence clearly shows that there is substantial magnitude of benefit life saved compared to the risks of having a false positive biopsy, false positive additional images, or overdiagnosis. In addition to starting yearly screening at 45, the American Cancer Society recommends that women transition to screening every two years at age 55. Women age 40 to 44 will benefit from screening mammography. We recommend that women have a visit with their healthcare professional and discuss their risks and benefits and the way how they look at false positive testing. For the first time, the guideline supports informed decision making, saying some women ages 40 to 44 should have the option to screen early and women 55 and older have the opportunity to continue yearly screening if they choose. We do not recommend a particular age to stop screening. There is definitely benefit into the mid-70s, and we think benefit beyond that in women who are active and, le and have a 10-year life expectancy of reasonably good health. The study appears in JAMA. Journal of the American Medical Association. We no longer recommend doing clinical breast examinations uh, for women in the United States. Dr. Effinger says this time could be better spent counseling women about individual screening preferences. This guideline, however, is not a one-size-fits-all. It's very key that a woman is able to express her beliefs, um, her own values and preferences to her healthcare professional in making that shared and informed decision. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.